What's up guys? Um, this is the hardest video I've ever had to make and uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. I've went through just a whirlwind of emotions today. Uh, I woke up this morning and a good friend of mine, Leela, she posted that Dylan Clancy, who started Killer Flicks with me or was one of the first people to start. He was the first admin back when we had like maybe 50 followers. He passed away. Um, I believe a couple days ago, uh, his aunt found him. She posted it on Facebook and, uh, it's just brutal. So this is going to be a tough video to make, but I wanted to make it for him because I miss him. I miss him terribly. But, uh, just to take you back when I started killer flicks back in 2016, uh, Dylan was one of those guys that was just really active in the group. You would think that this was a group that was huge when it literally had, you know, just a handful of people. And he was one of the most genuine people, unapologetic. And, you know, what you see is face value with Dylan. He, he didn't hide anything. Uh, you know, he was Dylan and really one of the most unique people that I've ever known. And I, I cherished, cherished his friendship. And, you know, he was the type of person that just would give you everything, you know, the shirt off of his back. Uh, and I, I really mean that. He was just one of the nicest people I've ever met. But, you know, sometimes when you form relationships and it takes a while to, to gel with people, Dylan, from the first conversation we had, you know, he reached out to me. He said, hey, I, I like your videos uh, and, um, you know, I just, I, I really like what you have to say about horror. And we just started striking up this conversation just about horror. And that led to just conversations about life. And after we started Killer Flicks together, you know, I made him, he was the first guy that I made an admin. We didn't even have, I think, a mod at the time just because of how caring he was with the community. You know, so many people in Killer Flicks know the name Dylan Clancy because he just was such a friend. And I think one thing that separates Killer Flicks from a lot of other horror groups is we welcome people that are going through struggles. And really, I think Dylan was at the forefront of that. He was one of those people that said, if you have any problems uh, in your life, if you're thinking about taking your life, if you're thinking, um, you know, if you're just having a really rough time, you know, we all have our struggles, our problems. And Dylan said, you post it right here. Doesn't matter the time, the day, 24 hours a day, you post it right here and there will be support. You know, Dylan headed that whole thing. And, and, you know, we followed suit. You know, he really stepped forward uh, when the time was needed in Killer Flicks. And I think he's a big reason why the group is what it is today. Why the members are closer, I think, than any other group. You know, we're a family. And Dylan was a major reason why we were such a family. I couldn't have, I couldn't have done it without Dylan. He helped me through some hard times. And uh, we used to have like weekly chats, video chats. And you know, life gets in the way. And you know, I have regrets, you know, I, w I wish, and we always wish that we, we could talk to those that we love more, you know? And so I was kind of beating myself up today because I miss him, I miss him terribly. And uh, this is just a really, really hard video to make. Um, I just miss you, Dylan. Um, we all miss you and the amount of, of the outpouring of love and support for Dylan on Killer Flicks today is just amazing. It really is. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut this video short. It's getting really tough and I'm, I'm running out of breath, but we just miss you, brother. We miss you terribly. 